Yo guys, it's your boy Milton Asian. I've got this Spec Omega RGB here uh, by Corsair in white. So I'm going to give you a quick unboxing and just have a quick look at it inside. Omega RGB. Now this is going to replace my huge Cooler Master Cosmos 2 which I've had for a long time and the main reason is because I just want something smaller. I want a bit more desk space and just something a bit easier to manage because I'm not going for water cooling anymore. I'm just air cooling all my stuff um, with a Corsair Hydro Cooler like. Um, but um, yeah, you know, um, sometimes you just want to get a bit more simple with the build, so I will be selling my uh, Cosmos 2 uh, case and it is the modded one with the glass side panel and um, tempered glass side panel so I will have an eBay listing up for that soon enough um, but uh, yeah, this, I quite like the look of this one because it's not your standard conventional rectangular box that most PC cases tend to look like I like but um, it's not meant to be the best for actual cooling. So we'll have a look at that. So the right. there we are. Okay, so a bit of panel in there, a bit more stuff. Here it is. That's literally the most realistic unboxing you're probably going to get. More uh, polystyrene. And then what have we got? Where's the feet? Where's the feet at? So that's the back. Right. Is it turned out? Yeah, it's upside down. So let me flip this around. There we go. Okay, so we have Car Spec Omega RGB Carbide Series Manual with a little Allen key. Um, so one thing to know, it comes with an Allen key because the tempered glass side panels are held on with Allen bolts and not screws. And not thumb screws, which I don't know why they've done that, but you know. What can you do? I guess they look a little bit more flush when they're in, but they can be a bit more annoying to take off that stuff. Uh, so the back, got the foam there. Always well packaged. I prefer this foam stuff than polystyrene, so because it doesn't like mold and get everywhere, so it's a lot easier to use um, and store. And I always recommend to people do just. If you can find room for it, block pack the, uh, the original case and keep it somewhere. Because if you don't want to sell that case, um, it makes it a lot easier if you put it on a box for it or take it somewhere or transport it or whatever. So here it is. Looks pretty sweet. Okay, and I'll stick that on the box. Be careful not to smash it because if I drop it on this marble floor, it will definitely smash. Okay, so let's just bring it over here. All right, now, first thing to know, it is tempered glass here, and you've also got tempered glass, which most people don't realize, at the front there. So that is glass as well. It's not plastic, something to bear in mind. Now, on the other Spec Omega, the non-RGB version, what's it called? Spec Alpha, something like that, whatever it is. Um, that is actually mesh. So it's better for airflow. But this one, it's like they decided, you know what? We don't care about airflow. We're just gonna make it look baller. And that's what they're trying to achieve because the only vent you've got at the front is this little tiny vent here at the bottom, um, which can obviously, I plan on putting a 360 bill rad at the front here, and it's gonna restrict the cooling definitely. And um, because you've only got that bit there for airflow, but that's what you pay for to have a case like this. Um, so yeah. Now, side, not much going on. You also have the uh, uh, USB, so you've got two USB, you've got the uh, microphone headphone jack. On the bottom here, we've got a mesh kind of um, top there, um, again for exhaust. And on the back, you've got 120 mil that comes already uh, pre-installed. Pre um, and you've also got the, you know, your standard vents and all that kind of stuff. All that jazz. Now I'm just going to get my tool here, open the on. Alright, so I've undone all the screws now, but be very careful guys, because as soon as you undo that, the whole thing it doesn't stay in. It is very loose and it'll just pop off. Now I'm using it on a granite countertop here, so it could definitely smash. But yeah, 
Now it's not 100% clear glass, it is uh, like a smoked glass effect. Um, so it does look quite smart. It, all that smoke glass looks really cool when you've got the RGB lighting inside anyway. Um, so here we are at the front. Now, um, there are a couple of things that it does come with that the uh, cheaper version, the non-RGB one doesn't. So that one thing is the power supply shroud. Um, you do get the power supply shroud to hide all them cables, which is very cool. Um, obviously the whole thing's RGB and you get the RGB fans here as well. Now the, these fans aren't the LL120 version, or is it called ML? The cost of naming is a bit crazy these days. They all kind of sound the same, but all slightly different. But yeah, it, it, what I mean is they don't have the RGB rings around the fan. The only RGB bit is actual the lights shining onto the fan blades instead. And the center of the actual fan is an RGB lit as well. So it's a bit of a different um, uh, way that the RGB works, which I'm not going to use these fans anyway, but they are quite actually good high-end fans. I think they sell around you know, between about, about 15 quid, something like that per fan if you to buy them separately. So they are quite good fans, but I'm not going to use them because I've already got the uh, LL120s. But that's just something to bear in mind. But you actually get two of them, you get one there, and you also get one at the bottom here, which obviously you can remove. Now, um, let's flip it onto the back, and um, thankfully, the back, they actually have given us thumb screws. Now, these uh, Allen key ones, they do look nicer, than thumb screws, they don't stick out, they're a bit more flush, but they are a bit of a pain to remove, so that's something to bear in mind. Um, so here we are, let's get inside. This is your standard fair, you know, black uh, steel. Now what you have here is you've got your three SSD mount sections and you've also got here two hard drive sections as well. Um, and you've got your RGB and fan controller here. Yeah, it's an RGB hub, sorry, Not fan controller. So if you've got, now I've got loads of these as well, which is annoying in my case, because I've got uh, all the Corsair fans, I've got the Corsair uh, pump, I've got the Corsair L uh, light strips. So all of them need somewhere to go. There's only so many you can plug in at a time. So, it's good that you give you one there because you can fit six, it should be, is it? Yeah, six in there already, and that's a set of power to connect it. But obviously, the more stuff you add on, the more you'll need. So, you've got SSD mount sections as well. You fit three there, it's a nice place to put them. You know, they just slot in there and slot out dead easy. You can put the sat around there. And um, here we have, what's this? Oh, that's the LED uh, control for the light bar at the front. Uh, uh, so that's that. Um, now let me just uh, open up this bit here so you can see the actual uh, power supply. Now this is one thing I've got a concern for because when you put a 360mm rad here, you, you're not going to be able to fit a fan be uh, in between that gap as well. Um, I think there's just not enough clearance um, if you keep the hard drive cages in there as well. Um, but you know, we'll see when I put it together, but most reviewers say you just got room for the radiator and then your fans in the front of the actual chassis there. Um, but you know, this isn't that in-depth of a review anyway, I'm just having a quick look at it. Um, so let me just move this power supply shroud out of the way. Okay, so it turns out the power supply shroud is actually screwed in using these four little head, uh, thumb screws here. So that's quite cool because actually uh, held in the screws, so it's not going to move around. But uh, just bear that in mind if you are trying to remove it, you don't want to snap any of the clips because if you go around the front here, it is quite thin plastic and then as soon as you take out them screws, you just slide this bit forward and it just slots straight out like that. And then same for this bit here, you can slide this bit um, forward, give it a bit of a wiggle and this bit should come out as well. So yeah, just be a bit careful with that because there's only little small kind of plastic uh, things holding it together. Um, which can quite possibly easily snap up and that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, anyway, so here you've got your, um, your interior section here. Now, if I get out my measure tape, now, in terms of like power supply length, I've got the HX1200i, which has got, it's 200, it's 20 centimeters long. Now, there's like, I'm gonna struggle here, because there's zero room between the back of that and here where this hard drive cage is. 
Now, hopefully we can move this hard drive cage along, which we can have a look at. But uh, here as well, there's zero clearance as well if I do move it along to have the radiator up against it. So let's just have a look and see if we can move that along. Thank you really guys, of course I've actually thought about it and you can't. So there's a little thumb screw again at the bottom of the case here. And that allows you to pull the hard drive cage out and move it along to this section here and you can slot it in there. Now when you do that, flip it back around, here you gain a little bit of extra clearance but it's just enough. So again, I've got a 200 mil power supply. It's just enough to fit a 200 mil power supply, which is my HS1200i, and have probably about, let's have a look. You'll have about four, just shy of four centimeters worth of clearance to fit your cables through. So it's gonna be a mega tight fit if you keep that hard drive cage in there. I mean, you might not even use McCann's hard drive. So if you don't, then you've got no problem. You can just get rid of that. But if you do, I mean, I've got some two uh, large hard drives that I like to keep in the system. So I'm gonna to have to really struggle uh, smashing these cables through here. But that's just something to bear in mind. Otherwise, if you don't need it, just get rid of it. You know, you know, you've got loads of room for anything you want. You can put the power supply shroud back on and hide all the cables. But bear in mind that if you do move, bump that hard drive cage up, then you're not gonna have room for a radiator and a fan, definitely not. You'll have room for the radiator um, or a fan, but not both. Um, you probably just get away with uh, if you had a smaller uh, power supply, you could just fit the uh, both of them in just. Another thing that I've just noticed that I thought I'd like to mention, I mean, the power supply, when you've actually, uh, uh, with the power supply shroud, sorry, when you've got your hard drives in the extended position, you know, to fit a bigger power supply in, you put the shroud back on. And if you want to screw it back in place, it, you have to kind of keep it in this position here where it is now, but then that leaves a bit of your hard drive cage showing as well. So it might not bother you, it might do, I don't know. Um, but it is on display there. Now you might think, oh, I can just move it a bit further along, which you can do. I mean, it's slightly further along, it comes up a little bit more. But what that means is it won't actually be locked in place because you can't screw it in from the back because the screw hole doesn't line up. So you end up having to either have it here or there and have it a bit loose, which isn't ideal. Um, but as far as grommet holes, you've got all these grommet holes there. Got loads of room for that, um, and that's pretty much it. So those are the main worries when you get in this case. It does look cool. Is it functional? As uh, you know, yes, it is functional. But there are better cases out there, guys. If you want um, better air cooling, but this sells itself because it looks cool. You've got these cool uh, raised off the floor feet. You've got um, a dust filter at the back here. Cortez doesn't really cool with their dust filter. You get a little small dust filter. There you got there, and, the, and nothing else really. I mean, this bit you can remove, but there's no dust filter there. That's just a grid. This you can remove. You've got two, um, I'm just taking these off. So you've got two thumb screws there again, which you need to take off, and then you just pull this out, and that just comes off. But I wouldn't say this is a dust filter. It's quite thick hole in there. It's not gonna keep the dust out, but then that gives you the room there. You know, you've got the fans there, but, um, you could fit maybe externally some fans, but you, but you kind of can't because there's not enough clearance there to put a fan on the outside. So don't really know what the point in that was. Um, and you've also got a pop out here, which you could put a pipe through, which is weird. It's at the front there, got a pop out, put a pipe through. Don't know why it's on that. You can't walk through it. Basically, this case is a bad case if you want to do water cooling. There's not much room for it. Um, and there's not a radiator. I mean, you can fit a 360 there, and you can fit a 120 there, but uh, there are better cases out there to water cool. This is purely aesthetics case. It's not going to be the best for airflow. Uh, but it does look cool. I really like the look of it. Well, I'm going to build my system in it and see what it looks like when it's on, and we'll talk a bit further about it. All right guys, so here's the full system built up in my uh, Spec Omega RGB. So this is what your can, system will look like if you do something similar to what I've done. Now, going from a Cosmos 2 to a Spec Omega is very, quite tough to do um, because I've got so much stuff in there, I had to get rid of a lot of stuff. So I consolidated, I got rid of three hard drives, consolidated into one, and I had the HX1200i, which is a 220, mil uh, power supply, which isn't really, uh, of course I don't even recommend that kind of size power supply to go in here, 
but I've managed to get it to fit with the hard drive case and the radiator, so it can be done, but extremely, extremely tight. The problem you have is the cables that come out the back side of the power supply will hit the hard drive case. There's only about that much, about probably about an inch you've got to play around with, so you have to be really neat and tidy with your cable management there and especially at the back because getting that side panel on with all them extra cables is an absolute uh, fighting with a lion you have to try and get it to work so you have to be really careful with your cable management there. Uh, uh, another thing there's if you want to do an underglow LED underneath the case which I do like to do on most of my systems it's quite difficult on this one because there's no if you've got the um, because there's normally a, in a case like you'll find a little area where you can just shove a LED wire through and there is one on this but the problem is it's the same uh, hole where you have the uh, power supply shroud uh, slot so what happened was is I managed to put a cable through there to get an LED underglow LED and because I had to put that uh, power supply uh, shroud back on it actually sliced the, uh, the cable for the underglow LED so it, um, that didn't work so what I'm going to do is actually drill a little hole um, underneath so it just makes it easy to just do but uh, I need to buy a new LED strip first for that. But other than that it looks quite good and quite pleased with how um, it looks when it's all finished um, but um, yeah it's, it is quite hard to work with in terms of like space so um, if you are going to go for a case like this I would probably recommend going for a smaller power supply if you are going to keep them hard drive cages because if you're not keeping the hard drive cages you've got loads of room. Um, and as you can see, I've managed to fit an RTX 3080 uh, Aorus Master in here, which is a huge graphics card, along with the radiator. There's only about a centimetre of gap, but I've managed to fit it. So if you can fit that, you can probably fit pretty much any graphics card. You've just got to be a bit careful um, that there is uh, a bit of a constraint there with uh, the space. There's not much room. Now, bear in mind that um, this case is not the best for airflow. I'll tell you that right now. It does get quite hot, but simply because of the front front. Uh, window that you've got there and there's not much airflow going in there obviously because of that window it does look cool though don't get me wrong I absolutely love the look of this thing but it does get hot but um, after saying that it's not crashed or anything like that um, so that's one thing to consider and uh, once you and uh, oh yeah another thing that I kind of came across that was really difficult as you can see there the uh, Aorus motherboard at the very top where the fan is where the CPU power goes into the board was such a tight fit. Uh, I don't even know how I got it in, uh, <laughs> to be honest. I had to squeeze it so hard to get the, the motherboard's um, screws in. I was being really careful not to obviously break anything and flex the motherboard too much, but it just got in and it was such a hard uh, positioning, um, you know, to squeeze that uh, cable in there. Because you're trying to make it look nice as well, so you don't want the cable going you know, uh, all over the front of the system or anything like that. So that's something to bear in mind as well, that like you might struggle there. Obviously, I've got braided cables, which tend to be a bit chunkier than your standard, you know, black uh, single braided ones that you get with the power supply. But going for braided ones, you will have that issue. But anyway, um, I'm really happy with it overall. I hope you like this video. Uh, you know, uh, if you subscribe, if you like to see more content like this, if you like the PC, let me know in the comments and any questions or anything like that, let me know. Cheers, guys.